Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ella if you're new here, if not then hello. So in today's video I am going to be showing you some tips and tricks about studying. I am going to be showing you five different ways to stay motivated whilst you're studying. Now I know that there are lots of kind of productive and motivational tips on YouTube but they usually focus on how to get motivated to study and I'm actually going to focus on how to stay motivated. younger and at school I found revision the most boring thing I couldn't seem to get motivated or get down to doing it so I actually had to implement a few strategies myself and they have really helped now that I'm at university I still use the strategies and I am way more productive and motivated than I used to be so that's what I'm going to share with you today I'm going to share five of the strategies that I used that will hopefully benefit you at the end of this video if you have enjoyed it and if you've learned something then I'd love if you gave it a big thumbs up and subscribed. I'm nearly at 400 subscribers which is really exciting and yeah you'll have to let me know down below if you enjoy these types of videos. Um, I quite enjoy filming them, I like to film kind of studenty videos, things like that so you'll have to let me know if you enjoy them. Okay so tip number one plan exactly what you're going to do in your study session the night before. So I am a really big advocate for planning. I plan my days out usually not just for revision. I've got planners, I've got calendars, I've got notebooks. So I really know how beneficial this is. When it comes to revision, if you plan out the night before what you're going to do, you will wake up much more refreshed and much more motivated to go and do it. So there are three different ways that you can plan. You can either plan what you're going to do that day in the morning, afternoon and evening if that's when you usually study or you can plan by hour so at 1pm I'm going to have lunch, 2pm I am going to revise RS, 3pm I'm going to revise history or and this is what I really recommend is to have a whole timetable and plan out exactly what you're going to do each day for your entire month or for your entire A level or university revision period. So when it came down to my A-levels and I was in study leave, I made this really big calendar and I basically jotted in when my exams were and worked backwards. So I split up each day by hours. I worked, I think, from 10 till 4. Um, but in this period I was really productive and what I did was in each hour I wrote in what topic or what A-level or what module I was going to do and yeah, I literally just lived by that calendar. Um, if you feel like you can't do that just yet or you don't know when your exams are, if you're doing your mocks, then it can be useful just to plan the day ahead. So instead of having a big calendar of the month, you can just use a notebook or like a to-do list and write down the night before what you're going to do the day after. This is just really useful because when you wake up in the morning, you know exactly what you're going to do that day. You're not stuck thinking, you know, oh, I've got tons to do, but I don't know where to start. You're actually going to get down to it and just trust me, it will really help you stay motivated. And I think it's just nice and clear to see what you're going to be doing. Even if you don't enjoy some modules, this way you kind of have to set yourself to actually do them instead of putting them off and things like that. So yeah, this is my first tip, which is super beneficial. Plan exactly what you're going to do and when, whether that's the month before or the day before. Okay, so the second tip is about the environment that you work in. Now, I know that a lot of my friends work in their rooms. I personally don't find that I can do that. I need to either go into the kitchen or go into the library if I'm at university to revise. But it doesn't really matter where you revise as long as it's a clean environment. So what I like to do if I am working in the kitchen, I like to clear the desk entirely, make sure that there is nothing on your desk 
and just have what you need there so your notebook your laptop the pens that you're going to use and you know the highlighters that you're going to use this just makes it a really clean environment and it's just a lot better to get motivated to revise and stay motivated because you're not distracted by anything on the table i know i can get distracted really easily like if there was a cup on the table i'd get distracted by that so yeah <laughs> just make sure that you have a really clean environment and also another tip in regards to the environment is to switch it up so I find that sometimes I can get a bit drained of working in the same place like I said I usually work in the library when I'm at university but I find it really beneficial if say after lunch or when you've had your break that you actually switch up where you're working say go to another study area or go downstairs if you're in your house I just find it really beneficial and I'm not entirely sure why but I think it's because I've got a new environment so you know my brain's refreshed I've got a new motivation to study pretty much um I don't know try it out trust me I really find it beneficial because it kind of just splits up the days you're not stuck in the same position you know you get a bit of exercise when you're walking downstairs maybe you like to study in one area for one topic or one module and maybe you like to study in another area for another topic or module um, and yeah I just find that switching up your environment as long as it's a nice clean and empty environment then it's really useful it just makes sure that your brain is active and yeah try it and let me know what you think okay the third one is in regards to when you are actually studying and revising and it's to start small so I know that revision can be really really daunting and you know at the start you might see all of these things that you have to do and you might see that you've got a whole load of different things and that can get really daunting and quite scary so what I really recommend is starting small whether this is if you're planning an essay planning just the introduction instead of the whole essay or if it comes to a whole module just focusing on a few topics at a time just making sure that you start small and then that way you can build yourself up I recommend doing this every day or every new study session starting small and then throughout the day the more you feel kind of relaxed and in the motivation to study then the more you can build up exactly what you're going to do I know that a lot of university and a-level courses have got a lot of content so this way it can be much less daunting and it actually buys into the planning tip that I said earlier you can plan exactly what these small things are going to be and throughout the day you can make sure the workload is getting slightly bigger and slightly bigger and yeah it just helps in the long run and I think it can really help people start getting motivated and become more productive in the study sessions because you know you're not in front of a table and you've got all of this huge content you actually are starting small you're maybe starting on one topic half a topic and yeah I just think it's a lot easier that way so yeah that is my third tip to start small and plan what those small things are going to be okay so my fourth tip is again when you're in the middle of studying and it's your study approach so I'm quite a visual learner I like to use highlighters I like to write things out things like that but I find if you kind of switch your approach or switch the task even then it can be really beneficial so by this I mean maybe instead of writing things out for revision maybe you're going to work on a flashcard now or maybe you're going to try an exam paper or maybe you're to listen to a youtube video podcast video about the topic i find this way i keep getting motivated and i'm still productive in the daytime because i'm not just doing the exact same thing throughout the day i'm not just writing down notes day after day i'm actually being active instead of passive and i'm doing different ways to revise and memorize the content so different types of approaches can be reading your textbook or making notes from your textbook they can be doing exam questions questions whether it's planning an essay or a past paper it can be making flashcards and it can be actively listening or something like that to maybe a youtube tutorial things like that as long as it's still on your topic and on your module you know you're still learning the information but you're making sure that your task and your approach to studying is just being switched up every now and then 
Okay, and the fifth and final tip also links into being active, and it is to keep your brain active when taking breaks. Now, I know a lot of people when they take breaks, they do recreational breaks, they might just sit on the sofa, sit in your bed, watch YouTube, watch TV, basically just do nothing, which is fair enough, you know, you wanna have a rest, but I really think that you should save that kind of recreational break till the very end of the day, and instead make sure that your breaks are keeping your brain active. And what I mean by this is doing activities to keep your brain stimulated, such as a Sudoku, reading a book, doing a crossword, things like that. Because trust me on this, it will make going back to revision a lot more easy. Um, if you've just had a break and you're just slumming around, then, you know, it can just be quite boring having to get up and revise again. You might not be in the mood, things like that. But instead, if your brain is kept active, then you're much more likely to go in with a better mindset and more motivation when you do revise. Along with this, I also recommend eating some healthy foods in your break, such as, you know, some fruits and vegetables. Um, don't just, you know, eat chocolate, things like that, although I am one to admit I do do that. Um, but yeah, just keep your brain active and yourself energized, whether that's also going for a run or something like that. And make sure that your recreational break is at the end of the day, because that way you can enjoy yourself a lot more when it's at the end of the day and you've finished all the work for the day. It can be much more rewarding. Okay, so those are my five tips. Plan your day, have a clean environment, start small, switch up your different approaches and tasks, and keep your brain active in your breaks. Okay, so that was pretty much all of my tips. I know that it can be really hard to implement these, but just try and give it a go. You might surprise yourself and you might find that you have much more motivation and you're way more productive. And if so, that's amazing. I also know that these tips might not work for everyone. So if you have any other tips that you recommend then make sure to list them down below and we can share some of our own ideas and yeah they were my five main tips i hope you guys enjoyed them and learn a bit and actually feel motivated after watching this video if you did i'd love if you gave it a big thumbs up and subscribed again i'm so close to 400 so i'd love you guys to subscribe and yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys are enjoying more of these student tea tip videos. If you are, then please let me know. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about how to stay motivated when studying. If you did, then make sure to check out these two videos here, all about my university experience.